another view from the van with Paul from Magpie 24-7. Driving strong opinions on everything Newcastle United. Magpie 24-7. By fans for fans. I'm a positive guy. I still think I'm the best coach in the Premier League. everybody doing it is Paul from Magpie 24 7 back again with another view from the van hope everybody is a-okay it is the day of the big game yes it is Graham Jones against <laughs> against the best coach in the Premier League he's now an international coach uh, no less it's John Carter yes the battle of the X uh, and the current Newcastle United coaches uh, offers a nice little subplot and a nice little twist in the uh, the story to be told tonight against uh, two of international football's oldest rivals, that is England and Scotland. The game taking place tonight, eight o'clock at Wembley Stadium, um, still on a reduced capacity, which is a shame for the game because I think for the uh, event and everything else, it could have done with a full uh, house to watch this one, and no doubt the tickets would have absolutely uh, you know stormed out. The Scottish supporters who have come down. Um, they would have come down in much larger numbers, but they are uh, enjoying themselves around and around and about London at the moment, gearing up for the match, which they must go towards with a certain amount of trepidation after losing the opening game uh, of, the, of the competition. 2-0 against the Czech Republic. Um, Ryan Fraser coming on in that game. Will he start tonight? Will he be a fawn in our side again? Um, well, we'll have to say, but no doubt they need a result desperately to be able to you know to stay into the competition England want to uh, you know rubber stamp progression really through to the latter stages of the competition with a win today and obviously to claim the bragging rights which are huge as well uh, last time out I think Gary Southgate surprised many by uh, not playing the five at the back you know the three at the back with the two wing backs he changed shape uh, very much at the, the at the last into a, into a four at the back almost like a 4-3-3 three, three. Um, and he had a few su surprise selections here and there uh, I'd be very surprised if he changed it back to that formation now given the fact that we had a positive result against a very good Croatia team last time out uh, so I expect him to keep the same to me personally I would like to see a left footed player a more specialist left back playing in the left back um, slot if you were I thought Kieran Trippier did a, a decent enough game, but uh, call me old fashioned, but I like square pegs and square pegs and round holes in, uh, yeah, round things in round holes, yes. <laughs> we won't go too much down on that one because it could get down a very, very tricky avenue indeed. But yes, I would like to see a left back, a left back, a right back, a right back. Uh, so you would imagine that Shaw would come in uh, on the left hand side. Uh, Cal Walk will no doubt get the nod on the right hand side. Not my personal choice, to be honest. I didn't think he had the best games last time out. Uh, I also think as well that uh, Rice needs to be looking over his shoulder, especially with when you've got the likes of uh, Jack Real issue. You want to try and get into the team and be a cog of the offensive weapon for England. Uh, to, you know tonight so I think he's got to try and find a role for Grealish in there and I think he's probably most at danger of losing his spot I thought Mason Mount was particularly good last time out against Croatia there should be no worries about him keeping his place in the England team against uh, Scotland tonight um, no doubt they I know if you were looking at, it, looking at it on paper you would say it would be an easy 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 game an easy win for England but as we know as Newcastle United supporters games are not one on paper uh, because if we did we probably sh should at least be maybe 10th in the, in, in, the, in the league top 10 because we have got some decent players um, yeah player for player pound for pound everything else like that you would say England should win all day long and I do think that they will win tonight 
uh, but I know that Scotland are going to up their performance levels. I know that Scotland are going to be coming at it, thinking we've got to put everything on the line. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're, you're staring at elimination. So if that's going to up their performance. The fact to get played against England will up their performance. Um, and I expect it being a fiercely contested game. Lots of uh, you know robust uh, challenges. Uh, end to end, swing for swing, pound for pound, blow for blow. Uh, but I think in the end, England will come out of it victorious. My prediction, not that it's worth anything, but my prediction is it is a two 0 win tonight for England against Scotland, against John Carver, uh, and against Steve Clark. There's another uh, Newcastle ex uh, connection as well. Obviously, the Scotland manager, uh, you know, being a being a coach previously at Newcastle uh, United. So yeah, that's my prediction. Let me know what you think down below. Will England do the business? Will the Scots be able to get a surprise? Would they be happy with a point? I think they probably would be. I think they'll probably take a point if you're for them that, that now. But for Gareth Southgate, he's got to go for it. Hopefully Harry Kane, he wakes up. I thought he was sluggish against the uh, Croatians. He needs a good game. Uh, I think he will have a good game. He always seems to up it, doesn't he, in, in these sort of crucial, critical key games. So, yeah, Harry Kane, you know, to come good tonight. Uh, Sterling could be, again, very, very useful, I think, tonight uh, against uh, the Scottish, if he's on it. But, yeah, 2-0 England. Get yourself a few quid on that, why don't you? Uh, enjoy the game. Have a laugh. Uh, we've got another Newcastle United-related video coming uh, tomorrow over on the page that we recorded about a week ago. Uh, the follow-on to the Keep Yourself Part 1. Uh, I hope you agree with most of our choices on that one. Let me know as well what you thought about that. Take care, keep it tuned, keep it England, and I'll speak to you later.